One of the best things about PC gaming has got to be the customizability it offers. Unlike consoles with their hardware uniformity, PCs can have whatever specs you want them to have. Almost. You still have to keep compatibility in mind, but this doesn't mean that the possibilities for variety aren't vast. But, unlike a console that is guaranteed to run games smoothly for the entirety of its generation run, PCs need to receive upgrades in order to keep up with the increasing hardware demands posed not only by games, but by the operating system and other programs as well. And this leads us to one of the key points of today's video. What is RAM and how it fits into the PC hardware hierarchy when it comes to upgrading? After all, RAM is not only a key component without which the PC couldn't operate, but also one of the cheapest PC components. So is bumping the RAM count up a cheap and effective way to increase gameplay performance? If these are the types of questions that have been keeping you up at night, then you've come to the right place. Because in this video, we'll be focusing specifically on how RAM affects gaming. So without any further ado, let's begin. The thing about RAM that makes it different from many other pieces of hardware is that having more of it doesn't always merit better performance. Sure, sometimes it can lead to exponentially better gameplay, sometimes only to an incrementally smoother experience, but there are also times when you will essentially gain nothing by installing more RAM. Even the term diminishing returns doesn't fit here, because after a certain point, you're not getting any returns. And if you're wondering why this is, it has to do with the way games are designed in the first place. Each game is programmed to only use so much RAM, and this means that you can only get so much mileage out of RAM before it starts just sitting idly by. If your game uses 8GB of RAM and you have 16GB of RAM, well, then the remaining 8GB will not be touched by the game. You could have 32GB of RAM and your game would still perform the same. On the other hand, if you don't have enough RAM, you'll be painfully aware of this deficiency. Your games will have less memory to load up data sets, which will result in choppy gameplay experience riddled with off-putting framerate drops. But does this mean that you should only have as much RAM as your favorite game requires you to have? Well, that's not the answer either. Yes, if the game eats up 8GB of RAM and you have 16GB, then the remaining 8GB are left untouched by the game. But this doesn't mean that they are left untouched, period. There are more than plenty of other mouths your RAM has to feed, from any and all background software you may be running like streaming or antivirus software, browsers, to stuff like Discord or Skype. Even the operating system itself needs to receive its fair share. RAM is a tasty delicacy and pretty much anything your computer is running is out to get it. So by default, if your PC has 8GB of RAM, you essentially do not have a whole 8GB to dedicate to any single game. So to find the sweet spot of RAM volume, you would need to have enough RAM to properly run the games you want to play and then some. You can still get by with just 8GB of RAM overall, but this means that your games won't always be getting the full course. How much extra RAM you will need, however, is entirely up to you and your preferences. If you're a streamer or a video editor, then the answer is a lot. But for most of us, 16GB is still the ideal amount. With this much RAM, you'll be able to make sure that every game you run gets as much RAM as it can gobble up while still leaving enough leftovers for the browser, Discord, and similar background processes to nibble on. And as we've mentioned, RAM is one of the cheapest and easiest pieces of hardware to upgrade. So if 16GB somehow ends up being too scarce for you, you can make the upgrade later. Now you may have noticed that we've focused exclusively on the volume of RAM. So what about the clock speed? Does it play a significant role? Honestly, the answer here is rather similar. Having a higher clock count means that your RAM can execute more operations each second. So yeah, technically the data handling will go faster. But once again, we have to take into consideration which programs you'll be using. Some programs make use of faster RAM better than others, but as for gaming, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. This isn't to say that you won't see any kind of bump in performance between, say, 2400 MHz RAM and 3200 MHz RAM, but at the same time, that's all it'll ever be, just a bump. And that's if your PC and motherboard can support this higher clock speed in the first place. So if you're looking to increase in-game performance, you should put the largest emphasis on the GPU. And then, if you've got some extra bucks in your budget after getting the best GPU and a proportionally good CPU, you can think about getting a faster RAM, just as icing on a cake. 
Speaking of GPUs, there is a type of RAM that you can go ham on regards to the volume, and that's VRAM. The V in VRAM stands for video, and it's a special RAM that constitutes a part of your graphics card. Games make heavy use of VRAM, and bumping the volume up even a little bit can lead to noticeable performance improvements. This becomes all the more important when you make the jump to higher resolution gaming. The only thing is, you can't upgrade VRAM as you would normal RAM. The sky is not the limit. The limit is however much VRAM your graphics card comes with. For example, the RTX 2080 Ti, the most powerful consumer-grade graphics card, comes with 11 gigabytes of VRAM, but the ideal number for most users right now would be either 6 or 8 gigabytes, with the latter obviously being the most future-proof option. And as far as 1080p gaming is concerned, 4 gigabytes of VRAM still gets the job done, for the time being. So in a way, upgrading VRAM is always worth it. But that's just semantics at this point since the only way to increase your VRAM volume is by buying a better graphics card. For example, upgrading from a last gen 4 gigabytes graphics card to a current gen 8 gigabytes one will result in a massive in-game performance increase. So if we forget about VRAM, then the bottom line is that no, upgrading your RAM is not the cheapest and most effective way. In fact, after a certain threshold is met, improving your system RAM any further will barely have any effect on gaming at all. At this point, you should look towards replacing your GPU if you want to take your gaming to the next level, or possibly even your CPU. And if you're wondering how much RAM is enough, it's probably 16 gigabytes. Some people will require more simply due to the nature of their work, but if you're using professional-grade software in the first place, chances are you know what kind of hardware requirements such software demands. So yeah, 16 gigabytes is the way to go. And that about does it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it, and share it with your friends if you think this is something they ought to know about. Also, if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to click on the bell icon so that YouTube doesn't accidentally sneak them past you. And if you'd like to know more about RAM and how it can impact performance, check out the video where we compare single, dual, and quad channel memory, and the link is in the description. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.